we are going to start this the second video of this tutorial it is related with docker uh, i'm not going to install docker in my machine i already have this installed and there are many um, tutorials uh, how of how to install docker there is in the documentation in many places uh, i'm just going to talk about how to use docker uh, some of the main features of docker uh, I, I will start with a virtual machine i already have running in here this one let me open this for you to to view this like wider in the screen uh, I will close this presentation, and here we here we are. Uh, we are we are going to start here with Docker. In this case, I'm using a personal Docker. In this case, it's this one and the one we have in the left side. Uh, okay, uh, I'm also using to. I'm also going to use this one, uh, this image from from Docker Hub for doing some testing. Uh, it is just for you to understand that the first uh, component of the architecture that we already defined in the first video. And we came here, for example, and this is the command that we can run for uh, for building an HTTPD. In this case, it is like a server. We are going to build uh, an image in our Docker using, using this uh, repository. Let's look into this uh, documentation. Which, we, where, which are the commands that we need to run? Or what are the commands we need to run in order to this Docker to this image to work? Let me check. For example, in here we have Docker, and we need the, the command run and detach and in the iterative mode, the name of the application that we are going to run, the port that we are going to map, and also in here uh, this means that the current directory we are going to copy all the files that we have in the current directory to this directory okay let's do some testing <clears throat> okay okay let's start just by showing you the uh, our high level information related with with docker okay uh, as you can see we have docker in here let's show some help it is really helpful <laughs> uh, because it has a lot of information it's a really good documentation the, the, the docker documentation is really really good and first as we can see docker and the command we have many options for example in the book mode a host list and a local label also the TTLS when we define the options management comments config container image network node many a lot of comments um, in this video I will show you some of them because the idea is uh, to do an introduction to docker because we need to cover many models in the architecture that we define okay for example and the most important comments are and as you can see it is required to use sudo because we, uh, for running docker comments we need to some privilege uh, sudo docker and if we have some image we can see that image in here we already have some of them this one i used this one when i was doing on deployment using gitlab docker in docker and also some of them are related with the communication between the GitLab runner and the Docker. But we are not going to do anything related with GitLab. We are not going to do anything related with runner and related with registry. It is just Docker. We are going to talk about just Docker. And if we have some image running, we can check using sudo docker ps there is an image running uh, also when we need to remove for any kind of action that you need to do with docker uh, we, need, we we must use the ids of the image for example in this case I, I, I cannot remove any of them because I need that image to work 
but for example let's suppose I want to to remove this docker image because we have many tags maybe we want to remove just this one I can execute sudo docker rm remove and the I just to set remove image and the ID of the image in this case this is the ID okay that's all that's the way that we run that image also um, there may be I, I, I don't know we are running some some docker some containers and if we have some containers running when we execute sudo docker, docker ps we will see image in here and as you can see we have a container id here and for example you can execute sudo docker stop and the container id also we can use the name uh, there are sometimes there are uh, containers or there are images that are being used and for removing that kind of image you have to execute rmi but with this flag it means that you are forcing to remove that image and the ideas we already are we are already set this is the, the flag rmi i don't know we can see some help from here as you can see it's really good documentation we have with docker we and you and for me also we need to learn how to interpret uh, all that information that they gave us for example how, how to use the documentation else because for example in here so the docker and let's suppose we need uh, ps but we don't know what what will be next we can execute minus minus help and param we have all the information um, ps minus uh, all minus minus all uh, for uh, filter format last list latest uh, quiet size and so on it happens with all the comments uh, but for doing some testing let me check i have some files in here and let's create a, a directory and kill up CICD tutorial oh I have a typo and it is okay we are going to that directory okay clear the screen we don't have anything in here let's suppose we create an index that that HTML it is the simple file that we can create when we are doing some HTTP uh, containers or HTTP servers uh, okay let's start it is just HTML the simple one it is for creating a head a heading uh, it is the, the biggest one with the number one and also uh, let's suppose we have also a header a hidden two hidden three and hello from docker docker ci cd tutorial uh, I don't know the year maybe and we are done by here uh, after that let's use uh, this image that we found um, the first time I will test this image let me check just copy this and let's do some testing it is kind of interest oh I forgot it I cannot copy from my Ubuntu to my virtual machine. I need to to do some configurations in order to use the clipboard. I will open the browser in here. One second. I need this any image. I will use any image, but this one is. It's kind of easy and fun. Copy.
copy the command. Let me let me explain it. This command we hear, uh, as I already say, Docker the run. Uh, if when we are using Docker, if we uh, provide the image name, this one at the end of this line is the image name. This one, HTTPD, and the version of the image. If we write HTTPD latest, this, it will use the last version of this image that we have in Docker Hub or that there is in Docker Hub. Uh, this 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 one are some flags. It is for detach because the the idea of detach is that when we, you run some Docker commands, uh, you execute this command and it it is running in the background of of the computer. Uh, also, it is for iterative, and the other command it, it is it doesn't matter in this case. It is for TTLS, uh, TTL, and this is the name that we are going to assign to this image and the mapping ports, it is really, really important. What does it mean? This 80. First of all, this 80 means that this image it is, is exposing the port 80. And what about this? This 8080. This is the port that we are going to use from our machine. It means that we are going to use, for example, localhost 8080. And in our image, we are listening in the port 80 but we need to do that mapping in order to the docker in order to the con for the container to understand uh, the corresponding ports that we are using after that uh, just here we are moving the, the the files we have in the current directory pwd is the current directory we are using a variable in there and we need to copy we must copy these files into this directory. It is the way, it is the configuration that uh, this image uh, offered for we to run and for it to work. Let's run these commands and check if it is working. Uh, okay, I need to use this with sudo. Remember this. As you can see, first it, it is unable to find that... Oh, as we can see, then the container name is already in use. Let's. I will remove this image. Okay, it is removed because the name is already in use, and always when there is an image with the with with when there is a container, sorry, with this name, it will fail. Let's execute the command again. This is the ID of the process that is running in the background. Um, as you can see in here, unable to find image HTTPD version 2.4 locally. It means that we is the first time that we are going to download this image from the Docker Hub, and when because we are using Docker Run. Uh, Docker will pull that image from the Docker Hub and then it will execute this image. We are not just pulling. If we pull the image with this command, we will just bring this image to our local computer. And uh, but, but in this in this case, let me check Docker. Let's check if the Docker uh, is running. As you can see, it is running, and here is the name. This is the ID, and this is the port mapping. Also, there is a way. I, I will show. Let me check first in here. And we are done. <laughs> it worked perfect. It works perfect. Um, just. One more thing in here. Um, there are many comments as as you can see. So uh, the Docker inspect. It is really important. Sometimes it is really useful. Also, it is kind of metadata we have for the image. It came with the with the image when we pulled. 
from Docker Hub or whatever it is. Remember, Docker Hub is kind of, it's something similar to the registry that we already talked in the high level architecture in the previous video we we have. <clears throat> in the previous video we had, sorry. And in here we have a lot of information. Uh, it depends on the image we are using. For example, this is uh, what I already said. The image is exposing the port 80 for TCP, but when we run the command, we said, okay, you are exposing port 80, but I am I'm, I'm using, for example, I'm using in my local computer port 80. Okay, let's map port 8080 to Docker port 80 and it will work perfect. For example, let's suppose you have, you have port from one to 1,000 uh, in use for in your local computer and it won't work for you. You just map port uh, 1,001, port 80 in the local machine and that's all it will work. You open here and port 8080, for example, in that case, if you change for port uh, 1,001, and if you open this, it will work if you do that mapping. Okay, this is kind of fast interview, fast uh, review of how Docker works. There are many information out of there. Uh, it is required to, to to read a lot in order to to understand the the whole world that Docker is nowadays. But it, uh, with this, uh, we are almost done. We are we are done with with this uh, with this recapitulation that we already we already did. Uh, let's continue in the next video. In the next video, we are going to talk about, let me check, we already talked about Docker, and in the next video, we are going to talk about, oh, the GitLab runner. It is the middleware we have in order to communicate with the GitLab. It is really important. It will be really fast because it's just a mediator, but see you in the next video. Thank you.